A Blueberry Inflation Poem by Rural Railroad There once was a girl who chewed gumdrops into bubbles, a girl that knows karate, a girl that strives to win, a girl with a world record that needs protecting. A chocolatier of many sorts watched this girl, day, morning, and night. His smile was vampire-wide, and his grin was slick and sneaky. I will have my prize, whether it's a newfound form or a starving, screaming prisoner, the young candy man thought. One day, a hand hit the door. A knock of many hopes, dreams, and desires enlightened the girl. Her feet walked, her head rolled, and her arms churned the doorknob. Her eyes were greeted by a madman and his kidnapping bag. Her screams were heard as the candied maniac claimed his everlasting prize. Her legs stopped their shaking, her arms stopped their clawing, and her eyes closed with merry sweet dreams. A horn was heard, a horn that disturbs, a horn that takes people out of dreams. Her hands were chained to the floor, her feet were stuck on an unknown surface. The room was football stadium big. The machines were filled with lights and bells, lights of former hope bells of former music. The more she moved, the more she screamed. The cuffs were like snakes, squeezing life out of its prey. The monster man stared. The chocolatier smiled. The winner looked amazed. His hands were hard as steel, and his heart was filled with desires. His left hand opened up. A stick of gum was revealed. The girl knew fear. The girl closed her mouth. A right hand of righteousness opened her mouth up. The left hand of misdeeds forced the gum down her throat. A great deed was finished, a deed of accomplishment, a deed of success, a deed of life-changing moments. A blue dot soon appeared on the screaming girl's nose. Its blueness overran the vast regions of her head, stomach, and feet. Her arms were like little sticks just waiting to disappear. The clothes, socks, and shoes became tainted with blue juice and stuck to her like glue. The guard opened up the chains. The blue girl shrieked. The blue girl cried. The blue girl tried to escape. Her belly was like a bomb just waiting to burst. Its blue juice quickly filled her stomach, torso, and even tongue. Her eyes became blue with juice, and her hair was that of a dark violet petal. The gurgles became roars. The roars became sensations. The girl became a ball. A ball without arms, a ball without feet, a ball with a sunken in head. She was indeed a blueberry. The man finally has his prize.